farm this stuff now. This is like a crop that they farm and you can go to the spice rack in Walmart or wherever and they'll sell caraway. Um, in the in the past, they'd put this in in soup or in uh, uh, their bannock. It's just like a uh, it's just like a seasoning. So that's what Kara would for this plant. Another thing, these berries are edible when they're uh, sort of ripe. Sometimes it depends on the person, depends on the stomach. Uh, juniper berries could kind of give you a little bit of a stomach ache, but for the most part, not a huge problem. The tea is delicious tea. I always make tea out of this. Um, when I'm out in the mountains, because this is just everywhere in the mountains, this, uh, this uh, juniper. Everybody's seen rose hips a bazillion times if they don't. Excuse me, rose hips um, are uh, full of uh, vitamin C as well. You have and you need a lot of other resources to have to do with everything else around, you're not going to eat these. These in Cree are piumina. Piumina means gross berry. Basically means because the girls will eat these berries, right? So, um, these would just be left on the bush. In the middle of winter, if you're starving and you're dying, then you'd go find some of these gross berries on the bush. But otherwise, you wouldn't really want to pick these. Just eat them. They are edible, um, but again, they don't taste good and they're not like as packed and full of the nutrients as other berries that you'd have and hopefully prepare um, beforehand, before winter comes. It'd be good for if you have like a cough. Um, but a practical use for this, uh, a bracket fungus, take that out and once it's dry, you have a fire going and you need to move camp, you're out hunting or whatever, take a hot ember, red hot, put it in your bracket fungus, cover it up and you can pack that with you. And it's just like a slow burn, kind of like a wick in there. Keep your bracket fungus with your ember in there and take it with you to the next uh, your next camp. Dump out your hot ember, light up a fire and keep going. Um, I mean, obviously nowadays you might have matches and lighters where, but 200 years ago, that's the way of, so you don't have to try and start a fire, which is a long, hard job to get a fire going, unless you're really good and you have some flint, which is not, they're looking around. identical and they might not be chugga. So the way to tell, once you break it off, if it doesn't have like an orange spongy, uh, it's not an orange spongy fungus on the inside, it's not chugga. Um, so chugga is like, um, I mean, it's sold like everywhere now. You can just buy it at health food stores, go buy some chugga tea. And it's kind of just like a cure-all. Like I was telling the other classes, I don't know anybody that uses chugga for one thing specifically. It's like, I have a headache. Oh, I have a stomachache. I have a, a sore throat, cough. I'm like, okay, drink some chugga tea. So you can drink chugga tea for a this lot This stuff of is uh, an extremely valuable resource. Um, and, it, and it was um, in the past an extremely valuable resource. Maybe not so much anymore, but it, uh, this was diapers. This was your this was your Pampers. So you, I don't know if you need. Yeah, you, your eyes lit up. I don't know if you need this. <laughs> um, so my dad remembers when he was a when he was a boy, he'd go out and pick this stuff in the bush by in bags, just load up bags, bring it back to his house. His sister was much older than him, and their their parents had passed on, or just put it on a table, whatever. So it dries out, and then you have this moss. It holds 20 times its weight in water. Um, and there's things called moss bags, just like, I don't know if anybody knows what they are, really tight little cocoon kind of thing. Cocoon? I don't even know if I'm saying real words anymore. You can talk too much. <laughs> nice little uh, fresh drops of it, the really goopy stuff. Like that stuff is really tasty and you can eat this stuff and you can just suck on this. Um, what they used to use this for was for like, they needed endurance. There, someone needs to go run a long ways or they're going to a uh, battle or whatever. You, you take this and you just keep it in your mouth and it keeps giving you endurance and it, uh, um, that's what they use it for. It was just if somebody needed to run a long distance, they'd suck on this stuff. Um, and another thing is just the fire starter. It's basically like an oil, it's like, like gasoline. Um, it'll, it's really good to get a fire going. You mix it with that tinder. Fire. I'm Cade Bork here at Sundry High School Division. It was fun and I got to learn a lot of cool new techniques for when I hurt myself or when I'm hungry and lost out in the bush today. Um, we got to do a lot more walking than we do in our regular classroom and we also got to learn a lot of cool things today. He is a really awesome dude and I suggest you learn with him.